This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX CAS Technology Student Course. In this lesson, we will look at generating and analyzing scatter plots in the data and statistics application. Your Inspire CAS CX2 calculator can be used to analyze the relationship between two sets of numerical data, provided they are stored as list variables. Suppose scientists are exploring the flight patterns of native birds. Over a 10-hour period, they use GPS tracking to record the accumulated distance in kilometers flown by a Regent honey eater by the end of each hour. Let's use Inspire to analyze the data they gathered. Open a Lists and Spreadsheets, page 1.1. And in the name cell for column A, key in hours. Then the numbers 1 to 10 in the first 10 cells of column A. That's easily done. Up in the name cell for column B, key in distance. Press Enter, then the down arrow key once, and key in the following distance values. Now at this stage, you may wish to pause the video to enter the 10 numbers which appear at the top of your screen. We have now created two list variables, hours and distance. This means that we can now look at their scatter plot to see how the distance flown by the Regent honey eater is influenced by the elapsed time the bird traveled. Now open a data and statistics application, page 1.2, using Control-I. As is always seen when this application is opened, the alphabetically first list variable name appears as the caption. Distance comes before hours, so that's why that was named up there. And the data points are spread randomly throughout the screen. Inspire is waiting for you to name which variable belongs with which axis. As we're assuming the elapsed time influences the distance traveled, guide the cursor down to the horizontal axis, press Enter or click, and select the variable hours. You see a simple dot plot with the numbers 1 to 10, as entered in column A of the Lists and Spreadsheet, page 1.1. Now, guide the cursor over to the vertical axis. Press Enter, and choose the list variable Distance. The scatter plot of their data is displayed, illustrating a fairly strong positive association between the variables. But how strong is that association? Inspire can find that answer to the question. First, you need to make sure that you allow Inspire to display an important value, the correlation coefficient squared, or R squared. Press Menu, then Settings, Now ensure that you have ticked the box for diagnostics, as I have here. Use the Tab key to select OK. To see the regression line, or the line of least squares, press Menu, then Analyze, then Regression, then show linear 
a plus bx. The graph of the regression line follows the path of the data points quite closely. Note the equation of the regression line is given in the form we requested. Y-intercept first, followed by the gradient multiplied by X. Note also that the value of R squared is given on this page showing us here that we have a very strong association between the variables. Now open a calculator, page 1.3. Control, doc, calculator. We can get a full display of the two variable or bivariate statistics that Inspire has calculated by pressing menu, then statistics, then stat calculations, then two variable statistics. In the two variable statistics table, use the right arrow and the down arrows to choose hours for the X list, tab, and do the same thing for the Y list, this time choosing distance. Tab down to OK, and press Enter. Note that there are now complete statistics for both hours, which is the X variable, and distance, the Y variable. To see the full display, take the cursor over to the slider bar, grab that, and slide it up and down. There are quite a few values. There are actually 25 different values that are given. By pressing VAR, you can access any one of these 25 variables. Scroll down and choose stat R. That occurs a little bit further down the page. There we are. And press Enter. Press Enter again and we'll see the value of stat R. 0.99. That means that that's Pearson's correlation coefficient R, and that's further indication of the strength of this association as it's so close to 1. We can also view all the regression variables stored by Inspire from having previously found the regression line. Press Menu, then Statistics, then stat calculations, then linear regression A plus BX. Again, fill in the X list using hours. And the Y list using distance. and press Enter. And you'll see the values we've seen earlier on the graph, plus something called residual. Notice the A and B refer to the parts of the equation, A being the y-intercept, negative 16.67, and B being the gradient, positive 16.45. This residual down here, with that symbol with the three dots, indicates that there's another list variable that, there, that has been created. Press VAR and scroll down the now expanded list of statistical variables, and you'll find stat.resid. Notice again, it's a list variable because of that symbol. When we select that, you see a list 
of how far each dot point was vertically above, if they're positive, or below, if they're negative. The regression line we created in Data and Statistics, page 1.2. For example, we can see that left to right, the first two data points were above the regression line because they're positive, the second by a much smaller amount than the first while the next three data points were below the regression line. We'll look at the graph on page 1.2 to confirm that. Press Control left and you can see the first two points are above the regression line, the next three are below. And that list on page 1.3, Control right, gives us an idea of how far above or below they were. Finally, our scatter plot and regression line can also be seen on a graphs page 1.4. Press control doc, add graphs. With the cursor up in the entry line, press control menu, choose graph entry edit, and then scatter plot. Now use var to assign the list variable hours to the x coordinates of the plot. So I press var, I'll select hours, press tab or the down arrow, and do the same thing pressing var, select distance to be associated with the y variable. When you press enter, it looks like nothing has happened, but the distance values are too large to be seen in this window. Press menu, then window zoom, then zoom data. Which will capture everything that we've got in our data lists and readjust the scale of the window. And the plot will appear. To graph the regression line here, press tab to see the entry line. Press control menu. And from Graph Entry Edit, choose Function. With the cursor now to the right of the equal sign, choose VAR and scroll down to Stat Regression Equation. It's all abbreviated here. Press Enter. Type X in the brackets because it's a function of X and press enter, and the regression line appears in red. Now to see its y-intercept more clearly, press menu, then window zoom, then window settings. Change the x-min to negative two, tab down to Y min and change that value to negative 20 and press enter. We now have room on the graph to see the Y intercept. We can still see all, all 10 of the plotted data points. That's all for this lesson. Be sure to check out the other videos in this course.